A lot of people remember uh, Diana for her compassion and for her, her strength and her ability to draw attention to unpopular causes. I mean, back in, 19, back in 1991, um, when she shook hands with somebody who had HIV AIDS, that, that rocked the world, that was, that was really big at the time, um, the virus was, was very stigmatised and Diana's actions helped uh, reduce that stigma. And in the same way, her memorial fund reaches out to the most vulnerable people, the most stigmatised people. And that's why we feel at the Dominic Princess of Wales Memorial Fund that her memory is vital um, in keeping alive the, the charitable work that, that we support. Um, in the past 10 years, the Diana Memorial Fund has supported 350 organisations with £70 million. Um, in particular, we've done uh, work with, with landmines, we've given £11 million to landmines charities for clearance of landmines for support of people with uh, landmine injuries um, for risk education and now um, Diana's memory is particularly pertinent to the Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Fund in our efforts to bring about a ban on cluster bombs. Cluster bombs are weapons that are very similar to landmines in that they have a disproportionate um, effect on civilians and we feel that uh, the loss of uh, limbs and land and life that uh, cluster bombs uh, cause is very similar to that of landmines and therefore um, in the memory of, of Princess Diana we are, we are working together with a network of 200 non-government organisations to bring about a